today we're inspecting our $2,000 barn find of machine tools. We got a Emco uh, milling machine up here in the front. Uh, looks in pretty good shape. That came with a dividing head and a servo drive. And up on the tailgate, I got a couple vices here and then a, an angle um, adjustment deal to bolt on there. Hidden down here is a six inch vise. And back here is a Emco 12 by 36 lathe. Hidden back behind that is a jet drill press I had to take apart to get into the trailer. Um, and then the cream of the crop, a uh, vertical bandsaw, all jammed in my trailer. A guy loaded me up with his old bobcat and we were lucky to get it in without breaking anything. Uh, so yeah, picking your nose, huh? All right, Deej, what are we working on today, buddy? Hey, what are we working yeah, on today? What's your dad doing? What's over there? Oh yeah, what's over there? Yeah, we're working oh, on. Oh, there we go. We're mining for gold today. <laughs> yeah, is it good? Oh, all right. You need is it good? Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Press stuff quite like this. And I don't know what it is. See, that's almost like it's for a, a race. See, they I, all got that indent for a race. I've never seen a puller or a deal quite like that. Is there no arbor press with it, is there? No, I didn't get an arbor press. Oh, Kent Tool. Okay, we'll have to look that up. So I got a whole bucket of uh, split bearing pullers. And I'll have to look up exactly what all we got here. J9746. Um, Kent Tool. So Kent Moore, USA. We got the whole set. Oh, look at each. So back here, I got a three jaw chuck and a face plate for the lathe. Um, they gave me these linear rails, just some, some rails that he had for some reason from an unrelated project but uh, you don't turn down free steel when <laughs> when somebody gives it to you. And uh, also got a whole bucket of, you know, miscellaneous end mills and stuff. Some of them are brand new and Cosmoline. Some of them are pretty trashy, but uh, with the Harbor Freight Emco mill, uh, they took off the motor for some reason and we yeah. did we did hook that up and uh, it needs new bearings, so that must have been why they took it off. Um, but it actually works. So cosmetically, it looks like there's surface rust, but mechanically this thing actually is in pretty good shape. Uh, so that's that's something to look for. Yes, Deej. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you, you helping dad? <laughs> so out the door, I offered the guy seventeen fifty, and he said he'd take it. So I paid him cash, and I think I did pretty good. I got two complete sets of uh, T bolts. They're you know the Emco brand, um, and I'll have to show you the the measuring tools that I got with it too. They weren't great, but I did get a couple toolboxes. You know, some older mechanical calipers. Uh, you know, just a cheap machinist toolbox. Uh, but I think I did all right for seventeen fifty. Uh, if I if I can get this mill cleaned up, and uh, definitely the vertical bandsaw will be great. And the, the heck, the jet drill press is it's in immaculate shape. But uh. It was a struggle to get it loaded. And what it is, so. Yeah, I don't quite. And this has a, this has an O-ring that had an O-ring that fell off on it. I'll have to call Gary. See, this already says rear main on it or something here. Okay.
This thing, I don't quite, un I, it might be, it almost looks like the spindle. Let's you go. gotta check, that might be for your lathe, might be one of the down deals that hold the, something on your lathe. No, that's KM. Can't more, so that's part of that. This is for the, that goes to the mill. Yeah, yeah, that was in there. The wire. Uh, okay, let's see what was under here. This is the thing I was wondering what this was. Yeah, so this guy, what's that? That's a big piece of hex. Here, I got it in. So, what the heck is this thing? feet long. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I don't know either. Yeah. I don't see any markings. You could uh, Hook something in here. You know what you could do? You could put a knife in there and use that to sh cut uh, electrical cable. Pull it through. That's what we can make out of that. A wire stripper. What do you think of that? Okay, this was an eccentric here. Yeah, because this holds something. There's a gap there. Yeah. Just about the same size of a, of a knife blade. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's... Well, I have no idea. Yeah, we got the follower rest for the lathe. And then I misspoke earlier. It's the four jaw chuck. Three jaw there. And then up in the lathe is the three jaw chuck. And for whatever reason, uh, other than the drill press, the previous person took out all the motors. So the bandsaw motor is sitting up here. The mill motor we took inside and fired it up and it needs new bearings. But other than that, works just fine. And the lathe motor, um, I think that's the bandsaw motor there. But I haven't investigated the lathe motor yet. So I also got a magnetic vise. Uh, I'll have to clean up. Really? Yeah, so this was something I was kind of surprised. Um, he just gave it to me uh, with everything. That was the deal. I had to take everything. Um, so the Enco lathe is actually in really nice shape. Um, yeah, there's the lathe motor. That's the bandsaw motor. I just got it on top. But uh, yeah, it's a 5,000 watt uh, Enco lathe. So it needs some serious cleaning, but I got everything with it. Uh, oh, I guess I did have a can. I was, oh, this is out of my truck, my emergency. I always pack this stuff with me, some extra fuel line, oils. Uh, but here's some PB blaster. But yeah, like this lathe, is in, or sorry, this uh, drill press you know, pretty good shape. The handle was broken uh, right here. So I'll need to fix that. Uh, should be easy enough, you know, but order that, order a new one or make one. Probably just make one on the 3D printer that actually is plastic, so that shouldn't be a big deal. I think it's plastic. Yeah, that's plastic. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a little bit of surface rust. Not bad though, it just needs cleaned up. Uh, and then down here, oh, another dividing, yeah. Another dividing head of some sort. Some old emery, the mill uh, vise holder. A bunch of interesting stuff. Little drill chuck. Um, some end mills that might be okay. A lot of rust. Uh, live center. Hopefully that's still good. Um, I 
I haven't even got the new grocery thing. Oh, another drill check. Let's see what this one is. Oh, some boring. All right. Some boring head cutters. Well, made, let's see, what is this? That's some rust there. Oh, this is US though, it's a Jacobs. Look at that. Here, I'll hand it to you then. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll hit it with some cleaner and see if it works. Um, but you know, like this, what a few reamers. Uh, actually got some decent reamers that aren't coated in rust. Oh, another chuck. Oh gosh, there's here's another chuck. Here, cute, yes. yes. And oh, what do we got here? One more. Oh, I got some. Uh, oh, what are those chamfering tools? And ooh, this one might be a little far gone. But if it's a Jacobs, let's see. Actually, this one's made in America too. So, uh, gosh, just the Trevor treasure trove of stuff. And then, oh, right up there in that blue box is an adjustable boring head too with an R8 adapter. Uh, <laughs> and to give you a peek at the vertical bandsaw. So, yeah, pretty good deal. Down in here, this is some steel, miscellaneous steel he had. I don't know exactly what those are for. That might be part of that polar stuff. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that, but you don't turn down free steel. I'll tell you that for free. All right, so our tailstock chuck backed it up. It's starting to come off. Let's see what we got. Any name brand. Ooh. It's five eighths. Is that uh, golden? Goose, have you ever heard of Golden Goose? 16 ball bearing, Jacob's Taper 3. Well, price that now. <laughs> Probably looking at 200 bucks for an American made chuck. Yeah, so the guy I bought this from was an old mechanical engineer. He worked his whole career uh, at one of the Air Force bases here in South Dakota. He had a ranch, and so this was kind of out in his shed, and he built race cars. So he's a really cool guy. Uh, I wish I could have got some video of his race car that he built. It was a 1940, uh, a deal that was fixed up back during the war, I guess. But... Uh, Anyways, he was just happy to see this go to somebody that might use it. But, uh, you know, some of this I already have. But, uh, you know, if anybody needs anything, I'll make you a good deal on a mill. <laughs>